The ATP and WTA's decision to scrap ranking points at Wimbledon this year in response to their ban on Russian and Belarusian players sparked a furious row in the BBC studios between Andrew Castle and Peter Fleming on Monday afternoon. BBC are showing live coverage of the Cinch Championship at the Queen's Club this week. There will be plenty of attention on the likes of Kasparud, Cameron Norrie and Matteo Berrettini while Andy Murray is also set to play. But with Wimbledon just weeks away, there was also some reaction to the decision from the ATP and WTA to scrap all ranking points for this year's event. The move from the sport's governing bodies comes in retaliation to Wimbledon banning Russian and Belarusian players due to the war in Ukraine. Former British No. 1 Castle couldn't understand why the ATP and WTA decided to take away all ranking points and accused them of being childish. I think the ATP and WTA have failed to see beyond their own nose on this, he said on BBC's coverage of Queen's. They might say and they do say that they're defending the integrity and fairness of their ranking points and that nobody should be judged on what passport they hold and be held account for their government actions. I understand that. It is unfair and discriminatory on Russian and Belarusian players. But we have a couple of guests from Ukraine. Death from Mayapol, living with us now. He added, I can't read accounts in newspapers and TV reports without being moved to thin what is best for the people of Ukraine now and for the rest of us. The message has to be sent, even if it's only just a grain of sand really. The message has to be sent to the Russian people about what is being done in their name because too many people do not know. That's where I stand. It's a personal stance and I respect that other people may not see it the same way but I think this man, Putin and the regime represent such a threat that we have to send a message to the people whose name he acts in. I think it's churlish and childish for the ATP, the WTA and ITF to try to take points away and to punish Wimbledon for doing the right thing. But Fleming, who won seven doubles Grand Slam titles in his career, doesn't believe it is so black and white and even mentioned America's invasion of Iraq in his response. It's a very nuanced situation and to say Terry's propaganda only on the Russian side is not true because we hear that Putin is the Antichrist and all these things are horrific and him not excusing whatever is going on there, he said. But a lot of things have gone on. Who was talking when we invaded Iraq? Castle then hit back, that's a very dangerous road to go down because we risk being an apologist for what is taking place so of course Terry's no ideal.